Raymond van Barneveld was picked as a Sky Sports wildcard for the 2014 Premier League, even though he was ranked 28th in the world and had yet to reach the final in his eight previous appearances. However, he performed very well during the league stage, during which he had a 12-game unbeaten run, helping him to finish second in the table ahead of Gary Anderson and Phil Taylor on leg difference. It was Taylor that Barney had to face in the semi-final, a man he hadn't beaten in their previous 20 meetings in the Premier League or in any televised game for six years. It looked like that run was going to go on as Taylor went 4-1 up in the first to eight game, but Barney then remarkably won seven of the next eight legs to secure an 8-5 win and reach the Premier League final for the first time. It was an all Dutch final which saw RVB face then world champion and world number one Michael van Gerwen who levelled the game up at 5 all after 10 legs. Barney then won 5 of the next 6 legs to become the Premier League champion for the first time, which today is his last PDC major win. However, not everything was perfect for Barney. Following the win, he revealed that he'd been suffering from depression due to the monotony of travelling and playing every week. Barney sought therapy to help with this. A few weeks later, Barneveld and MVG teamed up at the World Cup, where they faced England in the final. Barney whitewashed Adrian Lewis in the second game of the final, meaning that if MVG beat Taylor, they would be the winners. Michael did so, meaning that Raymond had won his second televised title of the year. At the next major, the world match play, Barney went 4-0 up against Simon Whitlock in the last 16, before losing the 10th game 13-8, averaging just 86. It was then on to the World Grand Prix, which was preceded by two players' championship events in Dublin, in which Raymond lost in the first round twice, first 6-5 to Mark Dubridge, and then 6-4 to Mark Webster. In the Grand Prix, he began as a 25-1 shot, having reached the final of the event in 2008 and 2009, but not reached the last eight in the previous three editions. Barney went a set down in his first round game against Dave Chisnell, but then won back-to-back -back sets to win 2-1 and move through to the next round in Ireland. Next up for Raymond was a second round game against Mervyn King and he made a good start, going 2-0 up after hitting his first two attempts at finishing doubles. Barney was then on 52 to go 3-0 up, but he missed the single 20 outside of the board for his first dart and then failed to take it out, allowing Mervyn to win his first leg. Barney then lost back-to-back -back legs, seeing Mervyn win the set 3-2 in a deciding leg where RVB was far behind. At the time, that was only the second time in Grand Prix history that a player had lost the set after being 5 out of 5 on the starting doubles. He then lost the next set 3-0, meaning he'd lost 6 legs in a row after being 2-0 up in the first set, seeing him go 2-0 down in sets in the first of 3 games. Barney brought an end to the run of lost legs by winning the first of the third set, hitting double 16, but it then became clear that something was very wrong. Raymond looked to be in bad pain and was struggling to move properly due to a back problem. The pain caused Raymond to look very uncomfortable. Despite the clear issue, he managed to win the next two legs, winning the set and reducing the deficit. However, things got bad again in set four, which Raymond began by missing nine starting doubles, with the ninth being thrown at the ball, something very strange. He then missed two more at double 16 and another at the ball, meaning he had missed 12, with the commentators accusing him of conceding the leg. The total was extended to 15 after Barney missed three more, all thrown at doubles, and then even further up to 18 after he threw three more, all very quickly at the ball, showing he'd given up in that leg, which Mervyn then won on double 16, meaning that Barney hadn't scored a point in the leg. He was straight in with his first dart in the next leg, which Mervyn won after RVB missed the dart at double 18. He began the next leg by missing three darts at starting doubles, with the third thrown badly at the ball. In the next visit, he missed three at doubles before missing three at the ball. He then missed another at the ball before missing two at double 16 to extend the tally to 12. RVB then hit tops to start, but the damage had already been done and Mervyn went on to win that leg and the game. Barney then stumbled off the stage, clearly still in a lot of pain. In the final set, he'd missed a total of 30 starting doubles, causing his average to fall to just 71.5 by the end of the game. Wayne Mardell gave his opinion on the incident. The thing is with Barney, he, he just made a, a, 
a bad case of, of what it was. That what I'm getting at, he's made an excuse. There was no need to go for bullseyes. Whether his back was hurting or not, walk off. Walk off and say, look, I cannot finish. But there was no need to go for the bullseyes because what they actually done was took away from, from Mervyn a decent enough performance. And for me, he kind of took the moment away from Mervyn. I, I don't think that was very sportsmanlike at all. On the following morning, Barney tweeted to confirm that he was very sorry and that it was his back that began hurting after the first set, meaning that he could not focus or concentrate. He wished King good luck. He then released a longer statement via the PDC. He stated that during the first set, he felt a strain or pulled a back muscle following on from pain he'd felt earlier in the week. He said that as the game went on, it became harder to maintain his stance at the hockey, especially when switching down the board. He said that he wanted to complete the game, but that the frustration had got to him in the last set. He apologised to everybody, including the fans of the arena, who had booed him during the final set. He said that he was going to see a doctor in the hope of getting treatment to play in the following Players' Championship events, which he was able to. At the next major, the European Championships, Barney wore glasses during a match for the first time in his career due to another health issue, his diabetes, which led to blurred vision. When looking back at what Mardell said, there is an example of a player who withdrew during a game due to a back injury. Dennis Ovens at the World Championship in 2012. Ovens had reached a major semi-final at the UK Open earlier in the year and would have fancied his chances against Kevin Munch, who averaged just 82 in his prelim round earlier in the session. However, Ovens went into the game with pain due to a trapped nerve in his back, which caused shooting pains in his throwing arm. Ovens lost the first set 3-0 without getting a shot at a double and averaging just 65. He then withdrew from the game, giving Munch a bye through to round two. Ovens said that there had been too much pain when throwing and that after injuring his back, he'd been in bed for two days. The 2014 Grand Prix game wasn't the only time Barney's been accused of giving up during a game, as he also was during the 2009 Las Vegas Desert Classic Final, which he lost 13-11 to Phil Taylor. Despite averaging 98.5, Barney went on a streak of five lost legs towards the end of the game after being 7-6 up. Both Taylor and the fans believed that Barney had given up. Taylor was concerned that he'd done something to upset the Dutchman and was angry about his behaviour. Following the game, Barney sat nearly unconsolable in the players' lounge before leaving. One of his friends apologised for his behaviour to a tournament official and Barney's wife hugged Taylor and his family.